What's up, everybody? It's Jason, also Sparks of Dyer here with Deep Video Live. We are on location at the Halton Theater tonight for the uh, wrap-up show with Capra and with Slow Pulse. We're joined here with Claymore and with Brooke Hampton um, and the legendary Mortal Kombat 2. You know what the fuck it is if you've ever been out here to Halton. Uh, so, guys, I have been watching uh, interviews in preparation for this throughout the, I, I would say, the last month or two. Right? Love that. And so a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing is we're a new band and we're doing X, Y, Z. You're at the end of the tour. I don't think you can say that anymore. Isn't it been a number of years now? You got through this leg of it. Um, How do you feel? Do you feel like you're still in the newbie band phase? Do you feel like you guys are veterans now? I mean, I mean, we're definitely like making, we've done a lot of cool things. This is my first band. So like to me, it still feels very new. Like the first festival is new. The first tour, you know, like. Sure. It's, to me, it still feels very new and I mean, even putting our EP out, that was like first for us, first for me. So I, I still think we're definitely learning and, and like the beginning stages of things, especially when like bands that we like really look up to have like 10 plus years under their for belt. Sure. And we are still just like kind of in the early phases of even like figuring out our sound and, you know, just figuring out like who who is Soul Pulse. Like we're getting there, especially with like the single that we just released. But uh, we're definitely still like in the like learning phase of like who even we are. We're just like sure enjoying what we're doing and having and, and still exploring. You know? Yeah, uh, I would say what we've been doing this two years, two years? now. Yeah. yeah, been a while two years already. You went it definitely from, has. Yeah. Claymore, as I understand it, you went from air drumming to kicking everybody's ass on a nightly basis <laughs> over this tour here recently. Does yeah. it feel? Does it feel real? I guess is one part of the question. The next, the and a, I guess a B side is when you guys. Because your story is that you kind of hit the hit the ground running. You you had uh, so what? You had Furnace Festival. You had Ridgely Metal Festival. You've had a lot of stuff come through. Yeah. Um, my question that I usually ask a band is, how did you? What was your first inclination that you're we're fucking doing it? Like, what was the first like major milestone moment? You're like, oh shit, here we go. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. So our first show in Austin, like we that be the emo night. It was the emo. Yeah, yeah, you've done your research. Yes, it was emo night. But it like went off. Like I was like, like we thought it was gonna be cool and whatever. But it was just like the reaction was, it was a highly anticipated show. Uh, yeah, highly anticipated. Like just the reaction. Like so many people came out. And we were like, whoa, and just like all the feedback. We were like, okay, like. We think we may have something like this. Yeah. The feedback was so good and yeah, the reaction. And so since then it, it really motivated us. I mean, we already like kind of wanted to start writing our own music sure. aside from like, you know, doing the covers. But like, I honestly wanted to even just get like a show under my belt because that was my first show ever. And so and all of us playing together too, like yeah. live. So um, starting out with that and then just kind of, yeah, I just started running with it. And that was really motivation just to see how into it people were and like stoked about us. Yeah, um, yeah, this is my first band in probably 15 years or so now. So uh, the air drumming stuff, it's very real. It's real practice. Uh, <laughs> um, I yeah, I'm a black belt at Kung Fu, bro. Like, I, <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you know, even though I put all those years aside not playing, it's still like something I'm pretty passionate about. And it was uh, it was a little bit of a task to get back into it. But um, I mean, we he rocks. He yeah, he's 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 fucking great. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be, you know, Deep Video Live has been here for 10 years. We're going to be here for quite some time. And I'm really looking forward to catching you guys when you go on tour again. Yeah. Um, I'm curious if while you were doing this tour, did you guys come up with methods of getting work done? Did anybody go, oh, you know what? I'm going to fucking write right now. Or was it like, dude, where's lunch? Where's the bed? Let's get the fuck out of here. Like, did you like, I, I guess on your first tour, I'm, a, you know, I'm imagining that I'm a rock star on my first tour. I'm probably just trying to find out logistics, not really finding a way to meditate and create. but. Is that something that was on your plate as you guys went through this travel or something you're thinking about for the future? Oh my God, if you would have seen me during the Escuela tour. So that was like the longest run or tour. That was like our first tour. Like everything else we've done with like Evergreen Terrace and other bands have been just like runs Righteous. where it's been like a five, six like shows. But then Escuela yeah. was 17. Nice. And I was literally like, can I 
do this like with my boy you know just like sure. holding up I was like, a basket case I like didn't talk didn't treat I was just like so like professional and then this time around after we d did the 17 days I was like oh, I did it I was so happy and let loose like towards the end and then this run I was like oh, I'm just letting loose. like I know I can do it so I just yeah. felt like way more confident and like right could on. be myself and not such a like ooh, like freak about it but what do you think I mean you've overcome many hurdles <laughs> like yes. you it's it's crazy you know it's 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 awesome watching you like I'm behind you playing yeah, and yeah. just yeah it's great it, yeah it's awesome uh, I'll get a little uh, gushy here for you All right, so over here behind uh, for those of you watching at home and fans for us here in Dallas my daughter uh, eldest daughter Kira is here with me on production tonight uh, we took her out to Risley Theater to see the show for the first time and today I introduced my eight-year-old daughter to Slow Pulse for the first time because here in the last couple of weeks, she started doing some outlandish fucking metal screams. I'm like, girl, where did this come from? She'll be like, I need nachos. So I'm like, what the fuck? Started me young. And so, yeah. and I'm like, okay, so you want to be in a metal band? She's like, no, she's very girly. She's a so very am I. girly girl, right? And that's yeah. why we that's why we showed out the video today. <laughs> I was like, uh, this lady actually has her own business, uh, Blush and Bangs. So uh, yes, I mean, there's opportunities. Care. She's like, don't force me to be in a band, Dad. But I wonder. Have you had moments on your tour uh, where you've felt that in real time with real young women who are oh. just dealing with identity and opportunity and options? That is literally like what I, my favorite part about this. Um, I could like get emotional even saying it because I'm such an emotional person. But yeah, when I was younger, I like would go to hardcore shows and like it was a very like male dominated scene. And I mean, still sometimes can be but sure. um yeah and i was just so inspired by bloodline calligraphy who was like a female fronted band and like she like ripped and sounded just as sick as all the dudes and so when i was younger i started practicing to literally be like her so then my literal favorite like person in the crowd is not the dudes two stepping not the dudes like moshing not the dudes acting the toughest it's like the young girls that are like hell yeah that's my absolute favorite right on I think you can get behind that as a Thursday fan, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that emo boy <laughs> summer coming through. I'll tell yeah. you what, I saw all the legends at, at Furnace Fest. So oh, nice. It was, uh, all right, yeah. So my re yeah, my research, you guys hadn't been there yet, and so I was listening to you all geek out about what you're gonna experience. Yeah. That was well, pretty cool. Guys. I've I've been every year. Yeah. Nice. Um, I I mean, we've never played it, and that was like a literal like, oh my god, like bucket list. Like we're playing Furnace Fest. I literally freaked out from. Actually, the night that at the Ridgelia room is the night that we found out we were playing it. Oh, no shit. So right when we finished that wow. set is when we found out. And we were like, what the fuck? Yeah. Can I say fuck? I don't know. But um, we were like, Righteous. what the fuck? And um, I, I was literally anticipating it. Like, I was just envisioning it the entire year from, like, that. Because it was just an incredible moment for us. And to be able to open for bands that Claymore and I like have looked up to forever, like Walls of Jericho, Marches. um, with honor. Um, it was just surreal. Yeah. It was a great time. Yeah. Um, it was my first time ever being at a festival like that. So these guys going every year, you know, it, it was a whole experience for me. And, yeah. um, newbie at the convention, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of conventions, I do have a question for you. Maybe we don't have all members of the band present, so you should feel free to throw somebody under the bus. But uh, in the Slow Pulse lineup, who's most capable of pulling off a proper Powerline cosplay? To, what? A proper Powerline cosplay. Powerline cosplay. Powerline? You know, do you movie. know that we love the Goofy movie? I do know that oh. you love the Goofy movie. I do. <laughs> At least I thought uh, so. I thought honestly, so until it's my man let me down me. right here. It's going to be me or Matt. Right Me and on. Matt like love like we'll just like be li on the road driving and then like one of us will play like out on the open road or like a power line song. Yeah. And actually right before we played Furnace to pump us up in the car, we listened to a goofy movie <laughs> soundtrack. Oh, yeah. like, checking in. We were checking in and, and we were, were like, Are you listening to the goofy Yeah, they were like, Are you listening to a goofy movie? And we were like, You bet your fucking ass we are. We yeah. like we just love it. <laughs> infinite diversity and infinite combinations right there, folks. Well, okay, so you're out of tour. You're going to get a little downtime, but I know what kind of a city Austin is, and I know you're going to have some hometown folks that would love to see you again. Is there any chance that we'll see you playing in Austin before you go on tour again? Yeah, we're playing, like, this hasn't 
we haven't shared it yet, but yeah, we're going to be playing um, some of our homies in this band called Tilt. It's their EP release, and they wanted us on the bill, so hell we yeah. are playing that uh, next Friday at Sunny's Backyard. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep. And then um, this is where you can plug or talk about anything at all, any new writing you might have coming up, or uh, any, act, well, I've got cheesy stories, horror stories from the tour, you know, um, like your random bullshit questions, but I'd rather just save those for some other time because I'm I know we're gonna have conversations again in the future, and I'd love to just let you guys have a chance to let it all hang out. You're wrapping down this tour. Obviously, you got another show coming up in about a week. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the folks that uh, are learning and continuing to learn about Soul, uh, Slow Pulse over the? We're writing new music constantly. Yeah, we're still writing. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit different than uh, our first EP and, and just where we started because again going to go back to it where we think we're we are a new band so we're just progressing and we're gonna just keep writing heavy shit hell yeah man